Hello and welcome back to Ashley U Life. In today's class, I'm trying out a new foundation because I accidentally bought it when I was trying to buy the Age Rewind Concealer. So funny story, I had been wanting to try the Age Rewind Concealer for like a long, long time. And I happened to be in Ralph's when I was walking down the makeup aisle and I saw it and I was like, oh yeah, I wanna try that. So I got it, but I thought was it. I actually grabbed this, which this is actually technically the foundation and they didn't have the concealer, but I didn't know that there was two different sizes. But if you just saw this, you wouldn't know. But if you had these together, I'd be like, oh yeah, this is the concealer. Well, they didn't have this. So I didn't have anything to compare it to. So I thought, for some reason, I thought this was the concealer and I got it and I was like, oh, and then I got home and I was like, wait, Wait a minute and then I didn't want to return it because I felt like that was too much work so today we're trying it out and you saw me just put it on my face and so I'm getting ready fast again today I'm gonna go meet my dad to go look at cars and so I thought it would be a perfect time to try something that maybe could be faster than making my own foundation so we'll see and so the foundation is super light and it went on super smooth and it's a little lighter than I would normally get just because I thought I was getting the concealer so I got like a really light color but I feel like it still works so I like this concealer I just don't use it every day I feel like my other one is just a little more natural looking like this I'll use for like big nights out or something but I felt like I should use this today with its you know big mama as the foundation <laughs> I still do really like it. I just don't use it every day. I just prefer my like original way that I do my foundation, which is my make my own foundation class. So you should go check that out. I still just, it's my favorite way to do my makeup. So like I said, I'm going to go meet my dad. We've been looking at cars because my lease on my mini, my Nishi is up at the end of this month. And so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. And I've actually been like vlogging the whole process because buying a car is hard. And there's actually a lot of things that I learned about having a lease and how you can turn it in that I had never known before. And everyone that I've talked to doesn't know either. So I feel like there's a lot of things to learn that I wanna share with you. So hopefully watching me go through the process helps you somehow in the future because we all have to deal with this car situation. Everyone needs to get around. So hopefully you can learn a thing or two from the things that I learn. I just set my face with the NYX matte finishing powder that I love and now we're going to easy contour. My foundation looks a little bit pale, but when I'm looking at it in the mirror, I think it's the camera and the lighting that's making it look paler than it is. Honestly, what did we do before contouring? Contouring is amazing. It just helps bring out your natural features or makes you have natural features if you don't have them. And I haven't done bright colors in a while, so I'm gonna use my fun little NYX palette that I love. Where to start? I'm gonna mix a little orange and a little pink. And I always use a dabbing motion when doing colors at first, just so that the pigment really gets in there. Now using the same brush, because it has like the residual color on it, I kind of want it to blend together. I'm gonna go for this green and a little bit of this light green for under the eye, just for some fun. Look how fun that is. I'm loving it. And some actually got on this top line, which I am not hating, so add some there too. Ooh, I'm loving that. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush, add like a little purple, with a little lighter purple for the crease. And then if you ever think the crease part has gotten too big, like it's covering too much of the brow bone, this is what you should do. I'm gonna take the original brush, dust off the green, and go back to my original colors. And then you just dab over the brow bone again and kind of blend the crease and the brow bone back together. Ta-da! And then we're gonna bring all this craziness back together with my favorite translucent powder. This light dusting motion I'm doing is for any excess fallout that I had because inevitably a little bit of eyeshadow always does fall. But because I said it before I did eyeshadow and now I'm dusting it away and setting it again, it should all just dust away. And then dusting right here above the brow bone and the eyebrow really just tames down the color of any crazy eyeshadow. And if you feel like you lost some color, this is what I do. I go back to it and I dab a little bit on top to make the color strong again. I still have the residual of the purple. 
And then I still have the residual of the translucent powder just to dust off anything that might have fallen. But you're not going as crazy with it before so it's not taking away the bright colors you put back on, if that makes any sense. But now it's brow time. When you do fun things with your eyes, you definitely want to define your brows. Otherwise, they'll completely disappear. I mean, the difference isn't that much, but it just I love this high brow for defining under the eye because you can do it after everything. You could probably do it before. I just feel like it stands out just a little bit more if you do it after your eyeshadow and after your brows, but do whatever works for you. This is what works for me. Okay, so like I said, I'm looking for new cars. Now, I'm kind of looking at electric cars right now and I'm super excited about it. So if you have any experience with an electric car and you have any advice, please put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear. Just mix in my glitters. I just use the same container and I just change up the glitters so the glitter color is ever changing. Little primer so it sticks. I'm gonna go above the green on the top of my lid because I want that color to shine through. And I'm gonna try to just go super light with the glitter. Like it's more of a dusting than so thick. So the colors I added and mixed in were violet and more of the rose. I love the rose color. Rose and crystal are probably my favorite. So if you're gonna get any of these glitter brilliants, get those. But you're talking to a person that has all of the colors, so I'm just letting you know if you don't have any colors, those are two great ones to start off with. Okay, dusting off any glitter fallout. And so when you do your makeup, you're just kind of playing around with things and adding and fixing things. If you do something, you don't like it. Like it's all about change. So you just have to like go with the flow. And so I want to make the upper lid just a little bit more green. So I'm going to make it more green. So fun. As always, dusting off any fallout. I love it. Now we're gonna add some color to these cheeks. And I have this palette which is like four colors. This one was like an orangey color that I just love that I'm obviously almost out of. It's an elf palette. This is the dark one. And I'm just mixing all the colors together. Making my own color. If you feel like you go a little crazy in the blush, take your translucent powder brush and just dust over it to calm it down just a little. And now we must highlight, and I've been obsessed with this NYX Duochromatic Illuminating Powder in Lavender. The problem is, is I'm out and I haven't gotten a new one yet, but I did get this e.l.f. highlighter, and it comes with two colors. One's like a pinky and one's like a purpley, so I was like, oh, will this mimic my NYX one? Will I like it better? I don't know. This one's called Mermaid Tail, and I've been using it because I'm out of the other one, obviously, like you can see how much I've been using it. And is it as good? No. I love, love the other one. But... This one does its job and it's keeping me satisfied till I get the other one. And this one is a lot cheaper. So if you're looking for something a little more cost effective, get this one. It works and you get two colors. It's lashes time and today I am going to trade out the lashes I've been using for a couple weeks for a new pair. And so these are the Ardell 600 Wispies and you wouldn't believe it, I actually found these at TJ Maxx for like $3.99. I'm super excited about it because this is my favorite number and they were at TJ Maxx and they were cheaper. It's like the best. And so for me, I need to trim these 600 ones just a little bit to fit my eye better because if I don't, they do tend to poke me on the sides and why be uncomfortable? You can just trim your lashes. And if you've watched my eyelash classes, you should already know this, but just in case you have not, well, first of all, go watch them. But you always wanna trim your eyelashes from outside in because inside are where the small lashes are and you wanna keep those and then you wanna trim the larger ones because you don't want like crazy big lashes over here, crazy big lashes out here, fine, but you wanna keep the inside small, just saying. These are the lashes for my right eye and I'm just gonna trim on the outside, just one little bit. Now brand new eyelashes are gonna be always the hardest to put on. The ones you wear and wear and wear over and over again, they get easier and easier to put on. Part of me loves how this white primer like looks. I kind of want to do a Halloween look with it in the future because I think it's so fun. Like a 
Snow Princess or something. Oh, so getting back to the electric car thing, if I had to choose any car, I would love the Kia Soul EV. It's so cute and has this amazing sunroof on top. But the only thing is that it doesn't get that many miles to the one charge. So I'd have to worry about charging up all the time. So that's making me look at other cars. So right now I'm looking at like the best car you can look at basically under the Tesla, which is the Bolt EV. And I do like it a lot. It's super cute. It like gets over double the miles that the Soul does. And you wouldn't have to worry about anything. It's almost like having a gas car and not worrying about anything. I'd probably get to get anywhere and get back home to charge without ever thinking about it, which is great peace of mind, you know? So I'm gonna put some lip gloss on. I found this Milani lip gloss. I think it was at CVS and it's like a purple sparkly. So fun. I told you it was over. Your glitter. You did, yeah. but I'm filming. Thank you, my puppies. These are the kind of interruptions I have to work with. Okay, I just gotta finish getting ready, do a little hair, and some jewelry. I'm super excited about how my hair turned out. So this curl right here and this little wave curl in front are just like how my hair air dried. I'm super stoked about it. So then I just added a few flat iron curls to the rest of it. And then of course to tease my hair as I always do. And of course I have classes on how to flat iron curl your hair and how to tease your hair. So check those out if you wanna know how to do it too. I think I'm ready to go check out that Bolt EV again. And if you have any info, if you have experience with electric cars, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you've been through and your experience. And I want you to make sure to like and share so other people can like and share and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next class. Okay, also real quick, something I wanted to show you. I went to Costco today and I found a few uh, kind of awesome things like a new flat iron and it was on sale for 50 bucks. So I'm super excited about this. I cannot wait to try it. I didn't try it today because I wanted the first time I used this to be when I try it with you so you can get my first initial feels on it. I'm so excited. Okay, and so now the other fun thing that I got, I actually already have and now I have a second one. It is this awesome collapsible Audubon. It is like the best thing ever and you can store things in it. I'm gonna use it for glamping, but it's also great extra seating when you need it. So we are in what I call my great room right now. And on Tuesdays, I watch The Bachelor or Bachelorette with some of my girlfriends. And as you can see, I only have like one couch in here because that's all Matt and I need. So this extra seating comes in so handy. But I haven't seen this at Costco since I bought it and it's back and it was on sale for $19.99. Originally it's like $24.99, which is still not a bad price. I highly recommend picking one of these up and you could store it anywhere. I mean, it folds right up, look how thin it is. And it's just great for extra seating. That's not a foldable chair. It actually looks like furniture. And so it just looks a whole lot nicer inside your house when you need extra seating or for when you're glamping. I'm definitely taking this with me because all that stuff that lays around your tent that looks junky, you could stick inside of this thing and it is gonna look nice. I'm definitely gonna have to do a class for you on how I glamp because I can't pretty good. Okay, so now the last fun thing that I found at Costco is food kind of. It's this Birch Benders pancake and waffle mix. It's paleo and has no sugar added and the ingredients are super simple. I looked everything up online and everything just comes from nature and I actually made some waffles. Look, I made waffles. I was super excited about it and I undercooked them so that way I could toast them in the oven and they'll crisp right back up and they're actually pretty good and I made like a little sandwich on one earlier by just like cutting it in half and using that as the bread and that was pretty tasty too. I don't know if you've ever had a waffle sandwich but there's a place out here in California called Broxy that does waffle sandwiches and they're amazing and this wasn't it and was this exactly like Broxy? No, but you know what? It worked and it was pretty freaking delicious. And I also looked online and they had a bunch of recipes like for pizza crust and for strawberry shortcake, just so many things and I cannot wait to try them all. And so thank you for joining me for this bonus edition of my fun finds at Costco. Go get them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I do hair, makeup, and life hack classes like this weekly. So do make sure to subscribe and do hit that little bell next to it so you can stay up to date on all the fun. It lets you know when I put out a new class. <laughs> we'll see you soon.